How do you feel at this point? You've played a lot of games, you've logged a lot of minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm feeling good, you know, like I said, just learning learning about myself each game and uh, what I'm capable of. And just, you know, my thing is just staying consistent and actually, you know, doing what's needed for me in the game and just keep harping on that and doing, you know, specific things like defense, keep my intensity up, uh, make sure, you know, I'm another leader on the team that everybody can look up to and things like that, so. What has this senior class meant to you and your class? Because obviously starting as a freshman can't be very easy. How much have they helped you in that aspect? Um, they helped a lot, honestly. I, I wouldn't get through this year without them. So I'm very grateful and blessed to have them alongside uh, this journey that me and Ashlyn and Q are going through right now, um, getting more minutes and, you know, just helping collaborate and help with the wins and everything. But, you know, they're really helping us step by step, uh, learning learning about uh, the plays and everything, uh, keeping us one play at a time and things like that during the game. Yeah, do you remember any first impressions of, you know, meeting these seniors for the first time, whether it was your recruiting visits or when you, you know, got here this year or anything like that? Um, they embraced us very well, especially me, because I opened up, like, right away. <laughs> so they adjusted to me pretty well, uh, laughing and everything. So I was very grateful for that as well. I didn't know how they were going to react. <laughs> What's the best off ba non-basketball advice either Paige or Nika has given you? Um, be myself, honestly. Um, you know, that's the best thing I can do off the court just to – um, have everybody a good laugh. You know, it's cool on the basketball court, but, you know, off the court, just try to be ourselves. And just, you know, we need that laugh sometimes off the court and, you know, different things for me, especially my energetic boost or whatever I have, my little spasms I have. So. <laughs> You're always going to have ups and downs scoring, but Gino always talks about impacting the game in different ways. Like, you didn't score at South Carolina, but you had seven boards. Mm -hmm. Does that stick in the back of your mind? Have you really gra uh, grasped that concept as a freshman? Because you're going to have ups and downs. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely have, uh, especially, like you said, that South Carolina games. Uh, of course, my shots and stuff weren't falling in, so there's other ways to impact the game. So my defensive pressure, mm -hmm. um, getting steals, uh, you know, create moment, creating open shots for my teammates. So different things like that that I learned, very, uh, that I learned to do very well and that I'll keep learning to do um, because, like you said, it's not going to be every game where I can have a great shooting night. So it's going to be some games I'm off, and, you know, so i got to figure out ways to impact it. You're blocking shots. <laughs> Don't tell Coach that. <laughs> I know. We've already had that kind of, No, more so. <clears throat> how, nice was, how nice was it to see Ice go off last night? Uh, it was very good to see her. Um, you know, her smiling on the court after, you know, hustling, you know, us hyping her up. Uh, it was great to see. And, you know, we need more of that, per that side of her coming out. So games like that really opened her up. And uh, can't wait to see it down the road here. How much of a learning experience was that South Carolina game for, you know, you younger guys playing probably the best team you'll see all year? Um, definitely was an eye-opener. Uh, just the things that we specifically need to work on as a team and just in ourselves of, you know, uh, what we need to work on in our game. Like I said, off-shooting night for me. Um, but figuring out different ways, going back in film, watching ways that I could have impacted the game, the ways that I didn't. So, Are you feeling pressure as the postseason gets closer, or are you feeling more confident because of everything you've – learned and gone through this season? Um, definitely half and half, but definitely more of a confidence side. Um, you know, I've seen my ups and downs and where I can improve on. So just going into each and every game, um, trying to do those things specifically and just doing what's asked for me. So like attacking the basket, creating open shots, uh, playing defense, things like those that will help me, uh, that will help our team down the road. How much has this season, you think it's going to help you for the next three? Because I know it's under unfortunate circumstances, but you're basically like you feel like an upperclassman already. But you you know you still have three more years here right. even after that. Um, it definitely just down the road helps me with my leadership role. Like I said, uh, freshman coming in next year, uh, them looking up to me as a point guard, um, learning from Nika, one of the best uh, point guards in the country, learning from her, um, and try to grasp you know what leadership she has and try to take that in a little bit going into the next three years. You see, see Paige, uh, you know, is your TikTok co-star and things like that a lot. I mean, just how would you describe your relationship with her and the, the bond that you guys have built? Um, she's definitely like a big sister. They are like a big sister, but, you know, definitely her. You know, we're very goofy off the court. Like you said, TikTok partners and everything. I know y'all seen that no-look shot. So that was, a very, <laughs> that was a very funny moment. So, but uh, moments like those that I cherish very well with all of our upperclassmen. So. Who do you think will cry the most tomorrow night? <laughs> Nika. <laughs> Uh, yeah, probably Nika, and then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why Nika? Um, I don't know, I just seen her, I don't know, tears start rolling down, and I seen her in Europe when she got emotional, I just think she'll be the one, but I might be surprised, so we'll, we'll see. Will you, but will you shed tears? Huh? Will you shed tears? If I see other people cry, I cry, but hopefully <laughs> I don't, so... <laughs>